We're going to start today with a look at our test setup for these power analysis tests. This is our switching power supply. To measure this, we're going to be using our differential voltage probe connected to the mains. We're going to be using our current probe connected through the fuse location, measuring all the current going into the switching power supply. And over here on the DC side is where we have our load hooked up and we have our voltage probe for the output ripple measurements. Now let's go to the first test. Now we're hooked up to our switching power supply device. We've connected channel 1 in the yellow is the voltage on the mains and channel 2 in the blue is the current running through the mains. We have also set up a load on this device so that we're pulling 100 milliamps DC. And so under this load condition, this is the vol voltage and current that we see. Now we want to do some power analysis on that. And to do that, we're going to start with the power analysis capabilities built into the instrument. So we go into the measure and analyze, power analyzer. First thing we're going to do is called power quality measurement. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Power quality measurements make specific measurements of these 12 important characteristics of your power quality. Here we're doing, we can do hundreds or even thousands of counts and average them and look at the deviation and all. So this is a great way to test uh, the operability of your switching power supply as you're getting through an embedded device test. Now let's move on to the output ripple. So the next power analysis measurement we can make directly on the 7000 series oscilloscope is the output ripple. So here we'll turn on our third channel. This is connected to the output side of our power supply, here where we're drawing 100 milliamps in a DC fashion. Now we can go ahead and go into our power analyzer. We can turn that power ripple display on. So we can measure the ripple. We can also, if we want, zoom in and see the, see the frequency of that ripple a little better. Now these power analysis features also have tip screens on them, showing you where to make those measurements within the overall scheme of your power supply. So the power analysis option on the 7000 is a great way to measure power quality and output ripple. Now let's look at the Ultra Power Analyzer software to complete your advanced power measurements. For the third component of your power analysis test, you can use the 7000 series with our Ultra Power Analyzer software to make measurements like this. Here, the software is calculating the current harmonics within your signal by using both the voltage and the current measurements together. You can also do things like safe operating area and other measurements within the Ultra Power Analyzer software to give you a complete look at all your power analysis needs.